the first things you're going to want to do is make sure that your hood's up. Once it's up, if you were to look right along here, you're going to see this bar. Go ahead and grab on it, flip it up, and then draw it away. We'll set that aside. Just go ahead and grab onto that headlamp assembly. Give it a little wiggle. It's going to break free. Bring it up. Then you should be able to see the backside. Now, if you were to look at the backside, you're going to be able to see your high beam assembly. Go ahead and pull out that pigtail. Take a peek at the bulb. Just make sure it's in good condition. We're going to carefully set this aside. Do the same right here. Twist that out for the headlight bulb. Take a look. Make sure it's in good condition. These look great. And there's our headlamp assembly. Now we're just going to take out the headlamp on the other side of the vehicle. The next thing we're going to do is remove this top plastic area here. You're going to see a whole bunch of push clips coming across the top. Go ahead and draw out the center and then draw out the outer portion. There's the center. There's the outer portion. Do the same to all. Those push clips are up. Let's go ahead and get this off of here. It'll be time to get the grill off of here. To do that, if you were to look along the back side, you're going to see these little tabs that kind of hold it in. There's a couple ways you can get these off. You can use a nice screwdriver, press down on the tab, and then just draw it away. Or if you're dealing with one of these sideways clips like this one, it might be a little bit harder with a screwdriver, so you could also use some needle nose pliers. Grab right onto it, and then draw it away. If you were to look down along the bottom, there should be an area that's secured with one of these tabs as well. It's a little bit smaller. Go ahead and get that off of there. And then we'll do the same down the line. Let's go ahead and take this right off of here. Now it's going to be time to get our new grill onto the vehicle, but before we do that, we need to make sure we get this Chevy emblem off of here. If you were to carefully turn this over on a nice pad, you're going to see these nut certs here. Go ahead and remove those using a 10 millimeter. There it is. All right, so we've got our new grill here. We have our Chevy emblem. If you were to look at the back side of it, you're going to see three little pitons. We're going to line those up with the holes. Goes right on there. Turn this over carefully. Now we're going to put on our little nut certs there. Snug them up. Flip it up, take a peek. This looks great. So now before we install our grill, you want to make sure you grab all your little clippy doos you got there. Go ahead and slide them right onto the grill. Just press it. We'll do the same to the other side. Now it's going to be time to get the grill on here. Just carefully bring it up. You want to be careful you're clear for all your paint. Line up the pitons. Put them right in. Do the same to the other side. Now we're going to put these back into the assembly. Take this. There it is. This one. Push it in. Twist it. Now I'm just going to carefully bring this around the back side of the grill right here. Slide it down. Might just have to push down a little bit to line up the uh, little side prong there. It's going to be time to get our pin in here. Just go ahead and line up the holes, slide it through. There we are. Go ahead and flip that and lock it right into the slot, just like that. It'll be time to get our plastic cover back over the grill here. Just go ahead and lay it down, line up all your holes. Take our little push clips, and you can start wherever you want. Start dropping them right in there. Go outside first, and then press in the center. 